front or across to the guy with the eye here as you see here's a little bit of a gear haul and um, I'm just going to kind of show you some things and just talk about some updates to the channel and everything. Let's do this. One of the first things I got, and you already saw in a vlog that I put up on the channel, if not, check out the channel recently, is the uh, Canon G7X. I really want to uh, vlog. I really want to get into a little bit more of that and traveling. And this is just one of the best cameras out there. So I really wanted to give this a test. And uh, my review is going to come out soon on this to see if it's really worth buying. It's almost like $600. But um, th there's just a lot with this camera that you can do, the uh, image stabilization. Uh, it's a, it is a one inch sensor. It does use a, a late, one, almost one of the latest Canon imaging processors, but it's really strong for what it is. And I was very, very impressed uh, by what you can get in this small compact uh, little camera right here. So this is the Canon G7X. Selfie screens, that way you can vlog. I used to be pretty poo pooey on these things, but uh, after you know, really starting to learn the advantage of tilt screens and touch screens and everything like that, which this is also a touch screen, uh, I really gotten to grow very, very fond of them. So this is one of the newest things you're gonna see on the channel. This is one of the things that uh, I'm gonna start using a ton. And as some of you mentioned in the uh, vlog, the New York vlog that I did with this, the quality is pretty phenomenal for what it is. But I was really impressed by the stabilization because it has a uh, global shutter, not a rolling shutter, so that way, you know, things don't look wonky when you're moving around and everything like that. So this is number one. And by now, you already know what camera I bought when I was going through my dilemma, and I'll talk about that in one second as well. Um, but you always need a good battery grip because I do a lot of weddings and everything, so you need to get something good for what you're going to do. This is just a, a case for the battery grip that they have the, uh, the AA holder in there. So I have that, put that aside. Then you just have the big boy battery grip right here. Um, especially for a full frame camera, like as you saw, obviously I went with the D750 at this point. Uh, getting a, a, a genuine battery grip is pretty much essential to me. I think it's pointless if you're gonna spend thousands on a camera and then cheap out and buy some China $50 battery. Even though Nikon, these are ungodly expensive for no damn reason. But if you're gonna buy quality, buy quality. And you also get the uh, warranty and you know, insurance to go with it. So this is the battery grip for the Nikon D750, the electronic communications right here. But um, this really completes a camera and it really makes it feel better to hold, even though the D750 is uh, pretty ergonomical. But uh, so that's the battery grip. Let's talk about the D750, which is right here. Eric, why the hell did you buy the 750 over the 500? I thought you hated the 750. Hmm. And I must say, it wasn't because I hated the D750. I actually really liked it uh, for what it was. People just thought I was being extremely aggressive, and I guess I and I guess I was because at the time I I didn't th I think you I thought you were paying overpriced for a touchscreen like in late 2014 and everything like that. So I just think that's one of the important things is that you know times change people's. Uh, uh, opinions change on things. I haven't even taken this out yet, by the way. And it's just that there's a lot of features that I didn't know I needed then that I use now. Like, especially like I do, I love to do a lot of street photography with Instagram and, you know, just some stuff for portfolio. Uh, a tilt screen has become an essential thing to me. That's why it was a really big debate between the D500 and the D750. And it still felt like I was fighting the, the crop factor versus the, um, the full frame factor, but it just it just really wasn't uh, all of that to me because I can look past the fact that it's a crop sensor uh, and everything. It's just the fact that it was more suitable to what I needed. Like I feel the D500 really thinking about it. And the one thing that threw me off is the 4K video is like two time cropped in. So that's just a little jarring to me and I don't know why they made it that bad. Um, but you know overall I guess that's you know what they went with but like I'm not necessarily a sports shooter I don't go shoot out I don't need 11 frames per second. It's amazing. It's fantastic. It's fan uh, Amazing and I'm gonna have a d500 review specifically uh, Soon pertaining to what I do, but uh, in the overall it's just not something that I needed and I, I just felt like the D uh, the D750 was probably a more suitable option and I haven't bought a new camera in a while and also it's buying into the XQD card system so this is, this is the new guy. This is what's going to join the channel right now. This is going to be one of the newest things. You're going to see a lot of this in the video. Like I said, it doesn't have a touch screen, but it still does tilt. And what and like I like to do is, you know, have this down towards kind of like, you know, stomach level, uh, right in the serum, and just kind of look down as I'm taking photos. So that way it's not too uh, suspicious in public. So I did go with the D750. Uh, there's not saying that. So right now my combo is the D750 and the D600, which is filming right now. So that's probably going to switch up and switch off just a little bit. But that's not saying in the future that I won't grab a D500 or something like that, or maybe go uh, 750 and D500. So that way I have best of both ranges 
and I still have exactly what I need. So maybe that's the optimal route going forward. Not 100% sure, but you know, I do have 30 days with this thing, and if I decide I want to go to 500, I will. But um, I I'm trying to get more serious with my gear, and I think that's what a lot of us have to do. Stop having this gear acquisition syndrome stuff, which I had for a long time, and just really kind of buckle down, get what you need for your profession, and get it done uh, with what you have. So the 750 is here to stay for a little while, if not for a long, long time, and we will go from there. So that's a little bit of the gear haul. I got the Canon G7X, the vlog. Uh, I've got the battery gear for this and I got the D750. So this is actually what I went with. I know I shocked a lot of people with this, but um, I, I do love the D500, but I was able to use this a bit more and just have a bit more fun with this thing. And I felt the 750 for uh, wedding and events and everything and stuff that I get paid for, this would suit off better, even though the D500 is phenomenal as well. I just don't need something that fast yet. Maybe in the future, I do. Quick channel update as well. Um, I really, you know, thank you so much to everyone who's been joining. We've we've had a big growth over the past just a month and a half or so. So thank you so much for watching and th you know thank you for tuning in to everything. Uh, one of the things I was doing is like four videos a week, sometimes five videos a week, and that was just really stressing me out compared to you know what I do in everyday life. So one of the things I want to do is just I, I at least want to do three videos a week at the very very least. If I don't do that, I feel like a failure. So uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are 100% going to have videos, and Tuesdays. I was usually doing something always kind of odd or some questions or something like that so I'm not saying that I'll never do that again in the near future or anything but I at least want to say Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays I'm gonna give you quality videos it's just been it takes a lot of time to edit a lot of time to upload and everything like that so I'm gonna really do three videos a week but um if something happens if breaking news happens I'm gonna do you know four or five videos if that's the case anyway but you're gonna get at least three videos a week quality videos better edited um, because that's something I really want to provide more I, I I, I was always worried that I needed more quantity to, you know, appeal to more people and stuff like that, but it really feels like when someone says, wow, this was nicely edited, or this was a nice video, that's even better. So you're going to get three videos from me, and I feel like maybe I was saturating it a little bit on the channel, because I have over like 750 videos on this channel. Mind you, not all of them are great, but um, I just feel like... I should give more quality to what I'm doing. So I'm going to do three videos a week and a lot of this new gear is going to help me do exactly what I need. So once again, thank you everyone who has been watching. I did go with the D750. I will have the D500 review in soon from a uh, someone who's sending it in. So maybe I like that as well. You know, it's very strong for when I have my first impressions to the video that I made that a lot of people, uh, you know, watched. So thank you once again. That's a quick update of the channel. Quick gear haul. This is going to be fun, guys. Have a good one. Stay tuned. I have the Canon G7X review coming out uh, very, very soon as well. And I have a pretty cool long exposure photography video uh, in the daytime coming out as well on how to do that technique. Thanks for watching. I'm Grass of the Guy with the Eye. Keep an eye out.